Hey everyone, this is Eric Sloof over at antipro.nl and in this video I will show you east-west traffic optimization when using uh, NSX for vSphere. So what do we have? We have three hosts uh, in the same rack connected to a top of rack switch configured with switches, regular switches and those switches are configured with VLAN IDs and the virtual machines are all in different subnets. When the lower VM wants to communicate to the middle VM, the traffic has to pass all the way through the physical network, through the physical switch, through the physical router, back to the switch and back to the other VM. Even though those two hosts are in the same rack, the traffic still has to hairpin to the physical router. When two virtual machines are on the same host, uh, you still have hairpinning because the traffic goes to the switch, to the router, to the physical switch, and back to the other VM on the same host. So we want to optimize east-west traffic and avoid hairpinning, and that's why we are implementing uh, NSX. When deploying NSX, you will start with getting rid of all the standard switches and replacing them by logical switches. Logical switches are configured with a VXLAN ID. So those logical switches are then connected to the distributed logical router. Before we can deploy a distributed logical router, we first have to deploy the management VM for NSX. And from within the management VM, the controller cluster is deployed. The controller cluster is responsible for the running state of your network. So things like uh, routing tables, uh, ARP tables, IP tables, MAC tables, Everything is kept as slices, workload slices, in the controller cluster. What we also need for a distributed logical router is a distributed logical router control VM. This virtual machine is not in the data path, it's in the control path, and it's able to create OSPF and BGP adjacencies with other uh, edge services, gateways, or physical routers. Then we can deploy the kernel module for the distributed logical router. And once this kernel module is deployed, we can configure a lift and connect the logical switch to the distributed logical router. The distributed logical router is also connected to a VTAP, a VXLAN tunnel endpoint, uh, which is connected to the physical switch. So let's do that on both hosts and let's deploy those kernel modules to the lower and middle host. Once they are deployed, they will get the running state of the network from the uh, controller cluster and they also will pass information about which VNIs and which virtual machines are hosted on those ESXi hosts. When the middle VM wants to communicate with the lower VM, the traffic still passes to the physical switch because the virtual machines are on different hosts, but it doesn't go through the physical router anymore. If we look at the host with the two VMs in different subnets on the same ESXi host, then we can see that the traffic doesn't leave the host at all. So this virtual machine is communicating with the other VM and the traffic stays on the host. And that's the beauty of east-west traffic optimization with NSX.